We talked about the uh, soil water characteristic curves. Um, I'd like to discuss now uh, parametric models for these uh, soil water characteristic curves. If you remember, soil water characteristic curve relates the water content to the metric potential or to the capillary pressure. Uh, the relationship are highly nonlinear, and it is a very difficult uh, uh, function to measure. All we can do at the end is uh, collect a few pairs of water content and metric potential values, probably in the order of five, six per soil type. However, for modeling purposes, we need a continuous uh, function to uh, feed into our model, and it needs to also have certain properties of continuity and differentiability. And to bridge the gap between these uh, sporadic few measurements and the need for continuous curves, we use parametric models. These are simple expressions, typically analytical, you can, de you can derive them and so on, that uh, contain a few parameters that uh, bridge this gap between the few measurements and the continuous representation. So what are, of the, what are the common parametric models that we use nowadays in hydrology? Traditionally, people have used uh, a Brooks and Corey model that was developed in the 60s, in which the uh, uh, non-dimensional water content, that is the water content minus a quantity called the residual water content, over the saturated water content minus the same residual water content, was a power function of the uh, metric potential or the capillary pressure divided by the air entry pressure to some power also called lambda. So this is a very compact uh, form that uh, we'll see in a minute uh, fits the uh, many data sets quite nicely. Uh, however, it has a little of a, a problem because it is a discontinuous up to the uh, value of Hb, which we call the bubbling pressure. The, water, the soil is assumed to be completely saturated and only when the metric potential or the capillary pressure exceed the bubbling pressure that we'll see this uh, uh, power relationship kick in and give the shape that I'll show you in the next slide. Later on uh, in the 80s, uh, Rin van Genuchten came up with a parametric model that has about the same parameters to do the same job. And uh, there is some equivalency between the parameters of, th of these two parametric models. The main difference, however, is the van Genuchten model uh, is continuous all the way from saturation to residual water content. So the, uh, in the following uh, video, I'll show you how to fit these parameters. But the basic idea is that we use the few measurements to estimate these parameters. For example, in the Brooks and Corey model, it will be the bubbling pressure, the residual water content, and the lambda parameter, the shape parameter that is related to the pore size distribution. Typically, we have some idea about the saturated water content, and I'll explain this uh, in the next uh, slide here, that tries to give uh, physical meaning to these parameters. So this is, these are classical uh, soil water characteristic curves for clay, silt loam, and sand, in which you see that at the intercept here, uh, where the metric potential is very low, the soil is saturated. So this uh, point here we associate with the saturated water content or the soil porosity, the total pore spaces in the soil. The point here at the end of the characteristic curve in which changes in the metric potential no longer extract water from the soil. We call the residual uh, water content uh, marked by theta r. Uh, by the way, the saturated water content is often marked by theta s, or the, the Greek letter theta implies, uh, m typically is used for water content. You'll see that there is a bend in this uh, characteristic curve, especially here uh, for sand, which marks the air entry value so the soil remains saturated nearly up to that point, and then it becomes desaturated. The rate by the soil desaturate as a function of metric potential is uh, related to the pore size distribution, and it is captured by the parameter lambda in the Brooks and Corey, or by the parameter n in the Van Genuten model. So this is basically the link between the parameters in this parametric model that is not derived from first principles but has some relationships between the parameters that uh, describe this model and the soil water characteristic curve. So the take home message is that parametric models provide continuous representation of soil water characteristic curves that honor the few data points, as you can see here in this uh, graph. Uh, 
the parameters are related to the feature of the soil water characteristic curve, and we can interpret them in terms of how much pore spaces, how much residual water content we have, uh, and also the shape of the characteristic curve. The Brooks and Corey model shown here by the dashed line has this uh, notorious discontinuity that numerical modelers hated, uh, whereas the Van Genoten model that fits to the same data is a continuous function that is differentiable and therefore liked by modelers.